Hello, I'm Armin Budish. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, a chew! Are spring flowers making your allergies blossom? We'll offer ways to nip those sniffles in the bud. Then, most people have no real understanding of annuities, even people who own them. We'll help analyze annuities. We'll make sure your smile is in tip top shape. Plus, we'll reveal the histrionic filled history behind a reimagined hotel. And we'll explain how to get a cost free loan. It's time to get geoing, so pull up a chair, join us at our kitchen table for golden opportunities. While we may be thrilled to see the snow go, warming, warmer weather means we're welcoming another issue, allergies. Dr. Akalish Chokse is here to help us with our hay fever. Dr. Chokse is the director of the Metro Health Allergy and Immunology Clinic. Thanks for joining us, doctor. Sure, thank you. Doctor, most of our viewers know that when spring comes around, hay fever, that means you know sneezing, itchy eyes, but it means a whole lot more than that to some people too, doesn't it? A absolutely. Um, as you said, everybody knows about the nose and the eyes problem. But the way you should think about allergy is it's a immune response. So it's a response of the airway as well as the immune system. And uh, immune airway starts from the nose, goes all the way down to the chest. So sure, uh, eyes, nose, sinusitis, headaches. But a lot of folks will have, and I would urge to those listening to the show that should they feel that they have more asthma problem in spring or summer or fall, uh, which flares up, then maybe it's underlying allergies doing it to them. All right, so what are some of the other symptoms that people would run into? Um, they will run into, for instance, you go for a morning jog, let's get some fresh air. So when you get out there and start jogging, then you say, you know what, I cannot do my normal routine because, you know, I feel a little tight. The, the, all the pollens outside, trees will come first, grass will come later, and then uh, uh, weeds will come. They all are heavier in the morning, so it's not a good idea for the joggers to go and jog should they have asthma or allergies because the, the environment is heavier, so condensation brings all the allergens down. So, so maybe later in the day might be better. Yeah, after 5 to 10, we would say, you know, stay clear when it is much uh, later in the day and warmer, it, it is actually better. Uh, skin, skin rashes, that's a, a problem? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm glad you brought it up because uh, a lot of patients tend to have generalized discomfort, itchiness, maybe some rashes. If the pollen lands on the skin, it can stir up the immune system reaction there. So a lot of people will have a particular rash come and leave uh, and generalized sensation of itchiness that time. And uh, uh, you mentioned to me uh, that fruit, even yeah. eating fruit can be yeah. uh, cause, cause the hay fever symptoms. What tell me about that? Yeah. Um, the way I explain to the, the residents we teach and the patient is the, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> and what it really means, like parents, like children. And what we need to start thinking that the trees and the weeds are the source of the fruits and vegetables. So everything comes from there. So if you're very allergic to the, to the mom or dad or the tree, like a birch tree, apple cross reacts. So a lot of patients will avoid cantaloupe or honeydew or apple or pineapple because then they eat it, their mouth gets problem. But it is coming because if you're very allergic to the tree, you're also allergic to part of the trees, which is fruits and vegetables. So tell us, tell our viewers, are there things people can do if you've got a, a hay fever problem, what, how can you make sure you can live your life normally? Uh, yeah, I think that there are a variety of medications. First thing is really, I mean, not every medication will work for everybody. Always better to go and see your local allergy immunologist, they can help. Okay. Second thing is, if you have a very nice wooded yard, what you really need to do is don't open the window and sleep the window open because as you open the window, the pollens will ingress inside the room. So turn on that air conditioning sometimes. And air conditioning will definitely help as well with the, keeping the dust mites down uh, there as and well. And there are creams you can use as well? Yeah, you can uh, use all the cream for the skin, but again, if you use a lot of cream in the daytime and you go for a jog, it'll attract the pollen, capture oh, it. So maybe stay so away from the cream. Stay away from cream in the morning, but in the afternoon you could, you could do that. Ah, gotcha. So, well, thank you very much. This sure. has been a lot of information that 
people generally don't know. Right. Thank you, Thank Doctor. You. Thank you. Dr. Chalkse's advice is nothing to sneeze at. Follow his tips to alleviate some of the impact of your allergies. And for more help, use the information that's coming up next. You don't want to suffer unnecessarily. My thanks to uh, Dr. Chalkse for helping us all breathe a little easier. To schedule an appointment with the Metro Health Allergy and Immunology Clinic, call 216-778-2213. And for more information, visit www.metrohealth.org slash allergy clinic. Want more Metro Health medical information? Be sure to tune in to WTAM 1100 Radio each Saturday morning at 7 for Metro Health and You, hosted by Dr. Christine Alexander. Next, the ABCs of annuities.